Hello, everyone. My name is Sophie Chen. I am the coordinator of Office of International Affairs at the CTPC Business School. Today, my coworker and I and some of our international students are going to give you a brief introduction of CTPC Business School. This is our agenda for today. So we will go through the background academics, campuses, scholarships, and all the way through the life in Taiwan for you. CTBC Financial Holding is one of the most internationalized financial institutions in Taiwan. In this picture, you are looking at the headquarters of our Taipei office. This is also where CTBC Bank arranges the summer internship, the Rising Star Program. And when you look at the picture, uh, the second picture, you can see the most current overseas market map of CTBC Bank. CTBC Bank has 152 branches and 116 representative offices around the world. As you can see, the list on the right, we devote a great deal of efforts on developing the Southeast Asian market. CTPC Business School is established in Tainan, Taiwan on 2015 uh, by CTPC Financial Holding. The school is focused on fostering domestic and international financial experts. Currently, we have 930 students and 56 faculties that's expertise in different areas, including business administration and financial management. And uh, I believe you're interested in knowing our international students. So, I just want to tell you that we have students from around the world, such as Russia, Japan, Philippines, Thailand, India, Grenada, etc. The school not only offers curriculums in business administration and the financial management, but we also provide tailor-made career planning services to all of our students. The picture you're looking at is the aerial photography of CTBC Business School. The campus is really beautiful. It has a tennis course, baseball fields, five core golf course on site. It's around 26 hectares. We will give you a detailed introduction about our campus later. CTBC Business School has programs for both graduates and undergraduates, and all the programs are open to international students. The undergraduate program are banking and finance, business administration, business and e-com law, college of financial management, and artificial intelligence. As to the graduate programs, there are financial management, MBA, uh, technology in finance, which we also call a fintech, and a business and e-com law. Both of our financial management, four-year BBA and a two-year MBA, are welcomed by our international students. The curriculum prepares students to build and manage enterprises that create values and also be prepared to be the international enterprises uh, supervisors. The last thing I would like to speak to you is uh, all the courses that offers by CTBC Business School is mainly focused on theory combined with the actual experiences. For example, we invite owners and management experts of well-known enterprises as a keynote speaker to our students every month 
This is for our students to gain real life experiences. I hope um, the information provided give you a clear idea of our program. And uh, next, I'm we're going to invite my coworker, Ms. Janice Lee, to give you a brief introduction of our other programs. Hi, everyone. My name is Janice, the coordinator from Office of International Affairs. And now I'm going to introduce the courses provided to our international students. This this is the, our Mandarin, free Mandarin courses. And as you can see, the students are having a blast. Our Mandarin teachers will design different events or activities for them to make an immersion environment every week. And about the liberal arts at CDPC, we offer a variety of courses such as language, philosophy, history, and sports. And one thing worth mention is that we have a video and radio station in our campus. And this is the only one on campus radio station in Taiwan. Um, we also pay much attention to the physical, uh, to physical education for our students. There are different sports for our students to select, such as golf, tennis, baseball, and basketball. We also have a canoe water channel in our campus, so students can enjoy their kayaking anytime once they have the once they make the appointment. And this is one of the English taught courses, Model A Pack. Students will be instructed to stimulate how the international conference works on the global issues. Okay, um, after the brief introduction of our academic and uh, academic programs and the courses, we also invite our current MBA students, Bea and Camilla, to show you our campus and one thing the most students are eager to know, the scholarships. Hi everyone, my name is Bea Bianca Bileasala. And I'm Camila C. Sarita. We're both from the Philippines and both currently studying MBA, Major in Financial Management at CTBC Business School. So right now, I will be presenting and introducing to you guys our school campus. So as you can see right now, this is the overview of our campus here in Tainan City. And our campus is a total of 26 hectares. So you can see the huge, the, you can do a lot of things here in our campus. So let's start. Okay. So first thing I will be introducing to you guys, the main building. So right now I'll be starting with the main building. So the main building is where we are currently right now. In the main building, you will see the classrooms, of course, because most of the classes are being held here. And also we have a different study halls, conference rooms and auditoriums here in this building. And as you can see in this picture, this is the newly built study hall for of all students because of course our dear school is very supportive and encouraged for our studies that's why they are able to build this new study hall for all of us and we also have of course the libraries we have two libraries on school the first one is of course in this main building on the first floor and another one is located with boys dormitories basement and another thing about our campus additional things we have the ICRT broadcasting room, we have a coffee shop as well, and also the administration office and faculty offices are all located in this building. And of course, the next part, we will be talking about the campus dormitories. That's where we sleep, eat, mostly everything, of course, our second home within the campus. So of course, our dormitories, we have two dormitories, for girls and for boys. As I told you earlier, the boys' dormitories basement have the library and for our girls, we have the cafeteria. So that's where we will be having our lunch and dinner in the girls' dormitories cafeteria. And for each dormitory, we have, of course, you have your own 
decision if you want to take the two bedroom or the four bedroom kind of room. And each dormitory or each floor, they have their own lounge room. If you want to have some discussion with a lot of people, group discussions or review your notes, you can do it there really. And we they also provide in each room the common room where you can wash your clothes, hang your clothes, and also a common area refrigerator that you can use as well. And also another building is for high school, of course, dedicated for high school students that are here in our campus. <laughs> And the next one, of course, we need food in order for us to remain healthy and keep on studying here in our campus. And here we have a Laya. Laya is a separate uh, building, not really a building, but a small um, place here in our campus, just this uh, the back of the boys' dormitory. And there at Laya, we that's where we have our breakfast. And during some time, like if not, it's not lunch or dinner time, they still offer a variety of food. If you get hungry anytime, you can just go lie at any time. And lastly, of course, more like the hobbies that you can do in our school. We have different um, places for you to do that. We have the gym, we have the golf course, we have the track and field area. We also have like a baseball baseball field that you can also go to. So if you want to like, if you're fond of exercising, doing sports, you can feel free to do that in our gym area. And we also have the coffee shop. It's a coffee shop inside our main building. So that's also most of the students to like have small meetings or if you just want to um relax for a little while, you can do it at the coffee shop. And lastly, uh, of course, you can still feel free to have social life outside the campus. And by doing that, there's no need to worry. We have our own bus stop inside our campus, so no need to worry about walking too far. So, And it's also for all of us, for our, our safety. So we can just take the number seven bus, and we're good to go. It's just a 50-minute bus ride from our university to the downtown of Tainan, and just enjoy the Tainan city. Now, I will talk to you about the scholarships provided by CTBC Business School. There are three scholarships provided, namely Merit Scholarship, Academic Scholarship, and International Ambassador Grant. The first two scholarships are for those students with good academic performance. It's either they get half or a full labor of tuition fees. The third scholarship grant is the International Ambassador Grant. This is the scholarship I got from the school, which includes full waiver of tuition fees, uh, dining, and accommodation fees as well. All new international students are eligible to apply for this grant, but the waivers of the fees would depend on the academic performance during the stay here. So how to apply for the scholarship? Carefully and thoughtfully read the admission brochure found on our CTBC Business School's website. You have to fill in the application form also enclosed in the brochure and submit all necessary documents required. If you have further questions or inquiries regarding the scholarship, you can directly email or contact the Office of International Affairs of CTBC. Uh, the contact details are also available on our school's website. Hello,我是来自泰国的妹,目前研究读中信金融管理学院金融管理学士班四年级。我要跟大家分享一下我的实习经验和学校提供的华语课程对我有什么帮助。Hello everyone, my name is Warita from Thailand, currently a senior student in the Department of Financial Management. I am going to share with you guys my internship experience and how the Chinese course provided by school, by school have helped me throughout the time. Let's start with the internship. I had the opportunity to participate in the 2021 Rising Star Internship Program 
held by the CTBC Bank at the company's headquartering in Nangang, Taipei. I was assigned to the International Financial Planning and Analysis Department, which was in charge of CTBC's international subsidiaries and branches' financial performance. My daily responsibility was to assist the North America and Japan units in gathering data from peer banks and structuring it into forms that the team could utilize for further analysis. The internship with CTBC Bank has given me a better understanding of the banking and financial industry in Taiwan. It also assists me in determining the skills or information I need to develop to be successful in this professional path. Outside of work, the HR department has planned a variety of activities and lectures that I could easily incorporate into my senior year and post-graduation work. Even though it is unfortunate that the COVID-19 situation in Taiwan became more serious at the time that the internship was shortened to one month, and I didn't get the chance to bond with all of my colleagues and other intern students, it is a fantastic opportunity for me to be able to participate in the internship and gain these valuable experiences. I began learning Chinese when I was young, but I paused it for a long time. When I came to Taiwan to study, I chose to brush up on my Mandarin since I believe it will be beneficial in the future. CTBC Business School offers a variety of Mandarin classes for free, including academic classes like Shangyong Huayu, which provided me with useful words and vocabulary for business, and cultural exchange classes, which allowed me to learn more about Taiwanese culture and assisted me in adjusting to it. During the three years that I studied Mandarin in school, I could see a significant improvement in my ability to communicate in the language. I can only understand basic phrases like during my first year in Taiwan. Not to mention that I can't even chat with my classmates in Mandarin. However, after three years of continuous Mandarin classes, I am now able to have conversation in Mandarin naturally and confidently. Even more, I can communicate in Mandarin throughout my internship. Hello everyone, my name is Jirit Tanamatearat, an MBA student from Thailand. Today I would like to share with you my experience of living here in Taiwan. Taiwan is a very beautiful and unique country with varieties of traditional cultures and beauty of nature. There are a lot of beautiful beaches along the coast of Taiwan and beautiful sceneries among the high mountains and wary. People here are very friendly and always eager to help the foreigners. Our campus located in Tainan, which is in the north of Taiwan, Tainan used to be the capital city of Taiwan for over 200 years, so there are a lot of traditional and historical places that you can visit and learn about the history of Taiwan. Tainan is also known as the food capitals of Taiwan, so a lot of foreigners and food lover tourists love to come to Tainan to try many delicious dishes, as I personally fall in love with Taiwanese food the first time I try, especially the stinky tofu. You can travel around Taiwan and Tainan by taking a lot of, uh, there's a lot of transportations, especially in Tainan, you can travel around by taking buses and there are bus stations in our campus making it extremely convenient to travel around. And in case you want to travel to another cities like Taichung or Taipei, there's also another mode of transportation like railway, or um, you can also take the bus and also the local trains. So it is extremely convenient to travel around the island. So the beauty and the traditional of Taiwan are waiting for you to explore and hope you come and see you soon. Thank you.